Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with another knife-related video. Today we're going to be taking a look at these three knives, the Shirogorov F95, the Koenig Arius, and the Holt Bladeworks Spectre. And we're going to try to answer the question, which of these knives has the dip best deployment action? Now, these three knives, these particular models and, and the manufacturers who make them, are widely considered to be uh, the best uh, deployment actions available out there on any knife. Uh, certainly, you might be able to achieve better in a worn-off custom, uh, but in terms of that, you know, sort of production, mid techy level, uh, these three knives are, are considered the king. So it's, uh, I thought it'd be fun to take a look and see which one is, uh, you know, is the action king, um, at least to you know, to uh, by, by my yardstick, uh, you know, it's going to be obviously very subjective, but I'll, I'll try to uh, kind of explain as I go uh, in terms of the decisions that I make. We'll start with the Shiro Grov. Now, this is, uh, again, a Shiro Grov F95 R and L. This is the Arctic Storm. Um, all three of these knives, by the way, have been reviewed uh, previously on my channel. So, you know, take a look back in uh, the video list uh, to find those. But uh, this is the newest example of the Shirogorov F95. I uh, just got this uh, about a month ago, and it's a, a new model for this year. Um, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and just deploy that knife. Oh, that's so nice. You know, there, there's really nothing quite like the Shirogorov action. It is, it is unique. Uh, it is uniquely Shirogorov. There's... Really, just nothing quite like it. Like it a lot. You know, in terms of what I look for in a deployment action, uh, there's a few things. One, I look at the, the detent. Uh, the detent uh, needs to be, you know, strong enough to make the knife deploy. Um, and, you know, no matter how the knife is oriented, including. Uh, straight up, but it, it shouldn't be so strong that it's uncomfortable to uh, deploy the knife. And, you know, this detent really is maybe bear soup. Um, Shirogorov is so famous for their consistency. That's one of the most impressive things about them. And I found uh, there's not a whole lot of variation in the detent amongst the knives uh, that I have. And I have five Shirogorovs, and the detent is all pretty close uh, on all of them. Uh, it's, quite, it's, it's quite amazing. Um, the other thing that I look at is, you know, after the detent breaks and the, and the blade is spinning into the locked position, uh, can you feel that? Is there any tactile sensation? And, uh, you know, is there an auditory sensation? Can you hear friction? Um, can you feel grittiness or smoothness uh, as that blade is deploying? Now, the, the Shirogorov feels very hydraulic, and there's, there's a definite auditory swoosh. Swoosh. So you can, you can definitely hear and feel um, what's happening between the, the handle scales when you uh, deploy the knife blade. Um, the final thing I look at is, does, does the blade drop shut? And clearly this one does. Um, it doesn't drop shut every single time. Um, in some cases it'll stop just short, and then a slight movement, like it has now, slight movement will cause the blade to suction, you know, right in uh, to the closed position. So I consider it about, you know, like 95, 98% drop free. It's essentially drop free. Um, but again, there's just a little bit of friction there that, that can cause the blade to stop short and then close the rest of the way. Could I make it, could I improve that by adjusting the pivot a little bit? Uh, maybe. Uh, I also have not uh, uh, cleaned and lubricated this. It was a brand new knife when I got it. Uh, so, you know, I didn't really see the necessity in that. Um, uh, 
Uh, so, uh, yeah, the, perhaps it could be a little bit more of a drop shut, but uh, I think this is a good example, again, of how it comes from the factory. And then the final thing is I look at is, is it possible uh, to make the deployment fail? Uh, and normally I hold it straight up in the air when I do that, and I can apply very slow, deliberate pressure to the flipper tab uh, just until the detent breaks to see if I can make that deployment fail. And you can see I just was able to make a deployment on this F95 fail. It's not an easy thing to do. But it, uh, you, can, you can make it fail. Um, if I'm not real deliberate, real careful, I was able to make it fail. Um, if, I, if I don't use that uh, extreme sensitivity to, to, uh, to induce failure, then uh, it, you know, it, it doesn't fail. It, uh, it, it does take quite a bit of effort, but I can make this one fail. Uh, to be fair to this knife and to uh, really all these knives, I would say 99% of knives out there I can make fail. Uh, I only have really one uh, that I've tested in the last couple of years that I haven't been able to make fail. That's my other Koenig Arius. It's the one with the carbon fiber scale, and it has a pretty strong detent. It's, it's right on the verge of being uncomfortable, and there, if you overcome that detent, that blade is going to is going to come all the way out. There's, there's just no two ways about it. But it's pretty unique in that regard. Moving on to the Arius, uh, the Koenig Arius. Uh, this, uh, this is kind of a, a sprint run model. It's the first uh, line of uh, the Arius from Koenig that exhibited the new blue uh, pivot, at least on the presentation side. They've, for a long, long time, they've had the Clip side screw, uh, you know, anodized blue, but previously you could not get the, uh, the presentation side of the pivot to be blue, only in this this run that uh, that came out uh, last year, uh, in late 2020. This is a Gen 4, uh, so uh, it's it's one of the latest examples of the RS, just like this is one of the latest, most latest examples of the F95. Um, the deployment action on this knife is, is really, truly amazing. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, <clears throat> I will say that unlike Shiro Gorov, Koenig's detents uh, vary quite a bit in terms of how much effort it takes to, to break the detent. This one's pretty much on the lighter side. It's one of the lighter Koenig detents. It's really quite comfortable. It's almost perfect. I uh, really like the detent on this. Again, the carbon fiber areas that I have that I referenced previously, very heavy, quite a bit different. And I've had a couple of other other areas that, you know, again, did vary. So I don't see a lot of consistency um, in that regard. But in terms of the rest of the construction of the knife and the smoothness, very consistent. Um, on this one, it's just like, it's just like glass, absolutely glass. So, so nice. Um, once, the, once the detent breaks, there's just the slightest bit of friction that you feel. Again, like, like water floating across glass. So nice. Again, completely drop shut. Um, doesn't require any inducement from me to get it to drop shut. Um, it just it just does um, truly you know one of the the best deployment actions um, I mean in, in my current collection it is the best deployment action uh, this this particular Holt, uh, Holt Spectre again reviewed it previously but I borrowed it from my friend uh, Tim who has been kind enough to, to let me borrow several knives for review and testing here on the channel. Thank you, Tim. Um, and it's a pleasure to be able to um, have uh, Tim's Holt Spectre on my table again. Tim is so darn lucky. Um, he's really gotten some phenomenally difficult knives to obtain. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's just amazing the, the luck this guy has. 
<clears throat> the the Holt Spectre is regarded by many to be the best uh, the best deployment action of any uh, any knife out there. Um, better than a lot of customs, in fact. The 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 flipper tab is a little pointy, um, and I and I used to think that the detent was a little stronger than it actually is, but you know, once you do break that detent, um, you don't really hear or feel anything on this. <clears throat> there's a slight there's a slight click when the when the detent breaks, and then the only other thing you you hear or feel is when the lock engages. It's just like a click. Two clicks, and, and it's it's like it's floating in air. It's it's really phenomenal, and that detent is is difficult to judge, in the sense that the Holt Blade Works is one of the few knives out there that has an adjustable detent, uh, so the user could set uh, how much resistance is in that detent. To their personal preference, so it's it's really you know, it's it's almost a moot point to say that the knife as as I have it, and I don't I don't think Tim has adjusted it uh, from how it came from the factory. But you know, is it is it heavy? Is it light? Does it matter? Because you can you can adjust it. I will say that of the three knives on the table, this one is the easiest to make fail, and I don't exactly know why that is. Um, but I can I can quite easily make this knife fail any. Know, any day of the week. But, you know, again, it does take a little bit of deliberate action, but it takes um, far more effort for these two to make them fail. Don't really know why that is. Not sure if I demonstrated that on this knife or not, but. Made it fail. So I can make this knife fail. Um, it is it is difficult, but for whatever reason, I can very easily make the Holt uh, fail on deployment. Again, that's not a good or a bad thing necessarily. It's just um, it's just you know a, a factor that I look at. Again, these three knives are, I, I just want to just take a moment to acknowledge the fact that this is very rarefied air here um, to have these three knives gathered together on one table. The F95 is not impossible to get. It's not all that easy. You've got, uh, particularly this variation, you, you, you've definitely got to have your notifications set and you've got to, to act quickly. Um, this one, even more difficult to get, but not impossible. Um, you can also find it uh, fairly readily uh, on the secondary. You know, you see one come up, you know, once a week, but you will pay through the nose. Um, this, on the other hand, is a different story altogether. To get one at table price from Holt uh, is like winning the, win the lotto. I mean, it's, it's just next to impossible. Uh, you do see them quite a bit on the secondary, but the prices are ludicrous. Uh, we're talking, you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand, uh, and up, and you know, not even anything near what I would consider. So, which one's the best? Um, I can pretty safely say, as much as I love the the deployment action on the Shirogorov, it uh, is not as good as these two. So, I can very quickly. Uh, eliminate this from the competition, um, which is um, uh, kind of frightening when you think about it because, again, Shirov has for many, many years been considered one of the best, uh, smoothest deployment actions out there. And um, again, based on the competition here, coming in third place is not so bad. Down to these two, which, which one do I like better? 
I think I have to acknowledge from a technical uh, perspective, the whole Spectre is, is technically better. And again, that's, you know, it just fires out and, and it's imperceptible uh, between detent and lockup. I kind of go back and sometimes I think I prefer the deployment on uh, the Koenig Arius a little better than on the Holt, just me personally. It's so good. It's so glassy smooth. Perfectly drop shut. Again, all these knives, I didn't show them before, all of them have perfectly centered blades. Here you can see that in this example. I'll go ahead and of course, the, the specter is so, there's so little room between the scales, but uh, that blade is perfectly centered. Same thing with the F95 here, absolutely perfectly centered. Um, again, so very close. Uh, the, spe the specter really is in a class by itself, and the fact that it has that adjustable detent even further differentiates it from you know so many other knives that would uh, possibly be able to compete in this category with the Holt Spectre. It's really quite amazing. But uh, if 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 somebody's going to put this knife into second place, and, and again, it, it, this comes a little bit down to, to taste and personal preferences about. Uh, certain attributes that, that you like versus those that you don't. Um, you know, if you were going to put it into second place, it's, it's still, it's so good. It's so, so good. Um, it, the, the whole, the whole specter is almost just in a class by itself that nothing really can compete with. And from that perspective, the uh, Conagarius may be just, you know, awesome and, and, you know, relative to, it may be in first place relative to every other knife except uh, the Holt Spectre. Um, but again, three just absolutely phenomenal uh, knives that I'm, I feel so blessed to have had the opportunity to uh, take a look at all three Again, the uh, the Arius and the F95 are mine. This one's on loan, but a lot of people will just never have the opportunity to experience any of these knives, much less all three of them, and have the luxury of trying to uh, you know, compare these attributes um, alongside one another. I'm just uh, awestruck. Well, there you have it. There you have my thoughts on the deployment actions of all these all three of these knives. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care, God bless. We'll see you in the next video. I hope you've enjoyed this production from the Through My Lens YouTube channel. If you did, please click on the like button and do share the video on social media. If you'd like to see more content like it, please do subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and do check out Through My Lens at www.throughmylens.org.